so welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video or if you are new here then hello so for today's video i'm going to be doing a makeup challenge and i am going to be doing the one dip makeup challenge i recently watched i always want to call the surf does nails but i don't think that's even a youtube name anymore but it used to be but yeah i watched her do this video so essentially you have like one dip and once the brush leaves like the bronzer that's it you can only use that so that is what we are going to be doing today i didn't have a primer that was like a dip or a pump bottle so i just put some like just did my normal wash my face put my shreds on and all that i'm gonna go go in with foundation i'm gonna use the l'oreal true match super blendable foundation now i thought it's super blendable so surely that should mean it should go a long way so rather than obviously having one dip because we're not going to dip into this we're going to mm, can't even get my words out we're just going to do one pump and i am going to wipe off the excess as well so this is the amount of foundation we've got to use on our whole entire face I always pick the smallest mirror. Oh shit. Get in a different mirror because I feel like that one I had was just too small. I'm gonna go with my finger and I'm gonna try and <laughs> spread all this product equally around my face before we blend it in. Is that a good idea? I have no idea. We'll find out. I usually use about three or four pumps of this foundation when I'm using it. I normally always need more coverage around like this area and this area around my cheeks and my smile line. Oh please spread. I don't want to have a big white line across my face. It's covered the whole face but as you can see here, you can still see a few of me acne scars and stuff. So I uh, see that's where I normally I'd go for another pump and just put it on there but Today we're not so on. next I'm going to go in with concealer now I have chose to use the revolution conceal, conceal and define a dip and I chose this one because I kind of feel like I remember a lot came off the brush when you dip it I'm gonna try and spread it as much as I can purely because I feel like just didn't get enough coverage from that foundation I think that's pretty much dry now. I don't think there's anything else coming off that. I did get quite a lot from it though. Well, I'm trying to blend that into just to cover that. I do apologise by the way if you can hear my neighbours drilling or whatever. I feel like literally I'm, they won't be here for about three days and in the minute I get the camera out and start to film. They'll be working all day, drilling and sawing and God knows what. I feel like that concealer didn't do too bad actually, and I'd have probably. I mean, this probably does show that you you could get away with just using like the minimal amount of your products, and you'd probably still manage to do your full face out of it. So now I'm gonna set my face because I need to set that under eye before it starts creasing. So it probably is going to get a little bit tricky. Just one dip of powder does not seem like it's going to be enough. I'm going to put a bit of the Laura Mercier powder into the lid. And then I'm going to... Right, I'm going to like basically put as much of this on the brush as I can. And wow. I don't know how I'm going to do this evenly. So I suppose it's all falling off the brush already. I'm gonna go. Oh, I'm trying to prioritise my under eyelids. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna try and gently set the rest of my face. I might have regret that in a minute, but it was just literally going everywhere. I thought powder was going to be the hardest part and I feel like that was definitely the 
the easiest bit apart from the fact that it was puffing everywhere and it's literally gone all over me this t-shirt by the way how cute is it it's from h&m but if you're gonna buy it size down because i know it's supposed to, it was like advertised as oversized so we've got a size small and it's like it's like an oversized t-shirt that's also three sizes too big it's comfy but it's a bit much i should really use the brush at first because it's a liquid blusher so this was like a lip and cheek tint so i'm gonna like I rub my finger in it. That might be a bit too much, but the hard thing is getting it even on both sides. But like, and I'm gonna use the bottom of the sponge, the sponge I don't really use for anything else. And I'm just gonna try and blend that out a little bit. I mean, there's definitely more product on this side than that side. <laughs> I suppose that'll do. Right now I'm going to go in the bronzer, so I'm just going to take my bronzing brush. Anyone ever remember when Gough Land on that little like makeup set in Superdog, like the bronzing brush and bronzer? I literally love this brush and I've had it ever since, like I just can't get rid of it. I'm a bit concerned about this bit. I mean, oh god, I mean that side doesn't look too bad but I mean that side just looks like I've got a stripe on my face and it is not for blending. Actually not on left on this blush, I am just trying my best to just, I'm blending the sides of my face off. It literally looks like I've got a big stripe and a dirt mark underneath here. That's probably because I didn't use enough buzzy powder to set my face, so it's just stuck to where the foundation was. Oh, I think I'm gonna take Sleek Eyeshadow Palette. Not Eyeshadow Palette, Highlighter Palette. I'm gonna take a brush. I'm gonna really the brush in there. You know what, actually the highlighter went pretty far. Normally I use an eyebrow pencil and you know the, the P. Louise, I normally use the P. Louise eyebrow pencil and the brow to full brow gel. But you can't really get one dip out of an eyebrow pencil. So I'm gonna, I've just got like this makeup revolution like powders. I'm gonna dip that brush in there. Um, I don't know where's best to start, I mean. Start with this bit. Mm -hmm. That is way too much. I've got a feeling <laughs> one eyebrow is going to be nice and the other one's going to be a bit of a disaster. I am literally trying to get any last <laughs> tiny bit of product off this brush. I mean, they're probably definitely more like cousins, but what can you do? I've done the powder, I'm gonna one dip, and that's all you're allowed. I'm gonna brush the brows up. Try and hide all my mistakes. <laughs> I mean, you definitely only need one dip of this product as it is anyway. So, that's sort of save the brows there that was the p louise brow to full brow gel by the way eyeshadow next i suppose so i am just going to use the steve laurent palette probably said that name wrong i'm just going to use this purely because it's just a nice neutral palette and i feel like you get a lot of pigment when you put your brushes in these shades so i'm going to go in with this Pure tone brown shade at the bottom. So I'm gonna dip that in. I'm just gonna dab it on there. Dab it on there. And then I'm gonna try and blend that out as evenly as possible. 
I tell you what, this challenge does, it makes you blend a lot, doesn't it? Because you haven't really got any other choice. You just gotta keep blending until you hope that it looks the same. Moving that out around the edges, trying to anyway. And then I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and I'm gonna take the lighter shade in the palette and I'm just gonna use that one just to blend out the edges. And then for the lids, I thought perfect because this is like a dip. This is definitely like a dip. So one dip and I'm going to put that on both lips. I'm putting that there so you know that I'm not going to re-dip it because I might go back in with it on the lid. And try and get as much of it off as I can. I mean, it's pretty much dry now. I'm not taking any more products, I'm just going back in with that other brush and I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. So now I'm going to take a little brush and I'm going to go in with that highlighter from before and I'm going to highlight the inner corner and the brow bone if it'll stretch that far. I also used a clean brush for that so there was no product left on it. I'm going to take a small brush as well and we are going to take the cool brown shade and I'm going to do that under the lower lash line. So I think that is the eyeshadow done now. I'm just gonna go in with mascara. Or do we do lips first? We'll go for lips first, because I feel like that one's easier. I have got the Revolution, oh, it's I Heart Revolution lip gloss in the shade. This one's called Chocolate Brownie, I'm not too sure though. Now, I suppose we will do mascara. So I have got the Ico Black Magic Mascara because I feel like this has so much product on the brush when you take it out. So I'm going to do three, three. I'm just going to keep going back and forth between each eye until there is literally not a left on the brush. Or until I think my eyelashes look good enough. I literally can't use this mascara without getting it on my eyelids. I don't know what it is about this mascara, but it goes everywhere. Oh my god, I totally forgot about my low lash line. Imagine there was nothing left on that then and I have to just go without doing my low lash line. I mean, it's bad enough that my eyeshadow's darker on one side than the other. These corner lashes at the end have literally got no mascara on compared to the other side. I is mascara done. It looks even on both sides. The concealer worked absolutely perfect and if it wasn't for that it probably would have been a lot less coverage. And that's why we probably would have ran into problems. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video and hopefully I will see you all again soon. Bye guys.